and welcome. You're watching Head to Head, and I'm Alice Gerjuk with UATV. Ukraine has earned its best ranking ever in the Global Innovation Index, number 50 in the world. It earned this distinction for its creative development of business and inventions. This is according to the Minister of Education, Lilia Renavich. But the bitter reality is the fact that startups in Ukraine get only 1% of their funding from the state. 95% of the costs are paid for by different businesses. That is why the Ministry of Education is launching its number one priority for the next two years. During this time, it will put all its efforts into developing a good strategy to support innovation throughout Ukraine. To discuss the current situation in the country and to talk about achievements of Ukrainian researchers, we are joined in the studio today by Chief Marketing Officer of Cardiomo Care, modern Ukraine-born innovators company, Andriy Morozovsky. Hello, and thank you for being with us today, Mr. Morozovsky. Oh, it's a pleasure. So, your company has experienced already uh, inventing a device in Ukraine, this procedure. Uh, so, what is the environment here for innovative uh, in initiatives like yours? Uh, Ukraine has a great environment for creating the ideas, because uh, uh, Ukrainian spirit of innovations, of endeavors, of discoveries, it's here in our hearts and uh, it's great country to create an idea but unfortunately it's not a great country to build it to scale it up so most Ukrainian companies who invent something they aim to enter European or American international markets mm -hmm. but why uh, two major reasons first is uh, the, the scope of the market the sheer volume of Ukrainian market is not enough for many companies to to build sufficient businesses mm -hmm. there. And the second, to make it profitable. Yes, mm. because uh, if we speak about uh, European Union, it's like half a billion people. So it's uh, it's uh, it's a big audience for the product. Yeah, it's ten times more than Ukraine, and uh, uh, the purchasing power of uh, European uh, market is, is is much more than Ukraine. Mm -hmm. And what is the other reason? Is the other reasons? reason is uh, the, the environment itself. Uh, first of all, uh, not uh, startups uh, rely heavily on f investors. And uh, you know that uh, as an investment opportunity, Ukraine is uh, kind of a risky uh, uh, country to invest in. You uh, mean about foreign investors? It, it yeah, is yeah, risky yeah. But for th them. Th that's the major reason. Everybody wants to to have foreign investors mm -hmm. uh, because again, again an, another. Uh, so, sorry for repeating it one, one more time, but uh, it's about sheer volume of what investors can bring to your company. Mm -hmm. So, what do Ukrainians do? Do they start cooperation with uh, some other countries and researchers from other countries so they can kind of with the with this symbol of symbolic cooperation they can uh, attract foreign investors or what do they do it depends uh, from the company from the market which you operate in uh, there are many projects uh, which can build uh, businesses here in ukraine mm -hmm. but mostly you have to go to the foreign markets and um, going to foreign markets mean getting expertise in those mm -hmm. markets uh, and if your project requires some uh, technical e uh, certifications or medical certifications like our product, then you will have to, to cooperate with the international researchers, international teams. Uh, so your company, Cardiomo, cooperates with uh, international medical experts? Yes. How uh, many... Um, I don't know how many people are involved in this uh, in this uh, project or program and from how many countries we have uh, six uh, foreign advisors in mm -hmm. our company they come from united states and from um, from austria and from germany uh, both of our medical consultants are german cardiologists mm -hmm. and i know that uh, you produced some uh, invention that as media says can save millions of lives what yeah. is that that's true uh, uh, annually uh, the death toll of cardiovascular diseases is uh, about 18 million people uh, in the whole world uh -huh. in the in the world yes it's uh, world health organization statistics 
And uh, 73% of people, they either fail to detect the symptoms or neglect the symptoms of cardiovascular. 73%? 73% do, oh not, do not react to the symptoms or react when it's too late. This is three-fourths of all who are actually Yes, and this means that uh, early detection of cardiovascular disease is paramount important, has paramount importance for saving lives. Mm -hmm. Our uh, just basic esti estimation that 70% from uh, 18 million, it's, it's more than 12 uh, million people annually. So what did your company decide to do about it? The idea came uh, from uh, our uh, founder, Roman Belkin. Uh, he had an issue, uh, his mother has had a heart issue, but she didn't tell him because she didn't, didn't want to bother her son. And he was very frustrated with this. And he, as a hardware engineer, thought of the ways to have a remote monitoring of uh, his mother's health. And he came, he came up with the idea of a wearable device, compact wearable device, uh, which can uh, track main vitals, heart rate, respiratory rate, temperature, and most importantly, uh, has to record, uh, record a, a medical-grade electrocardiogram. An accurate medical-grade electrocardiogram is the foundation, the basis for giving person a diagnosis for, for doctors. Mm -hmm. Therefore, we decided that we need to record electrocardiogram. It's number one priority for the device. Okay, but with these life indicators, uh, this device that the person is wearing, as I understand, uh, does it cure these heart diseases or does it prevent them? Uh, the, object the number one objective of cardioma technology in general is to detect heart disease. Uh -huh, it's to detect, okay. To detect heart disease. So we, basically it's for healthy people to wear? It's, it's both. Uh -huh. uh, people who already have cardiovascular, a diagnosed cardiovascular disease or people who are in the risk group for cardiovascular disease or just people who are uh, conscious about their health, they all can wear cardioma. Mm -hmm. And what was the feedback from uh, the Ukrainian uh, cardiologists about the device? Ukrainian cardiologists uh, were at the very beginning of the cardioma given their input about what they need from the device, which data they, they need to get from the device in order to diagnose uh, heart, heart disease. Mm -hmm. So, do they, what, what is the feedback from them? Do they, do they like this device? Would they like to popularize it around Ukrainians? Uh, yes, they like, uh, Ukrainian cardiologists, they praised the device. They liked very much its, its uh, continuous uh, recording feature. Mm -hmm. Because when you come to the hospital and you get a halter monitor or a cardiograph, uh, you have a recording for some minutes or a couple of hours, maybe, and then, it, then it's, it's it. Uh, Cardioma has a unique ability to provide 24-7 monitoring of your heart. But is it comfortable to wear it 24-7? Cardioma is attached to the body on, on the chest, close to the heart, using uh, standard uh, electrodes. Uh, and uh, I can tell from my own experience that uh, I put it on when doing a pitch, a presentation, uh, to show that this is my real-time electrocardiogram on my smartphone. And uh, after an hour of wearing cardiomo, I completely forgot it was on me. How does it work with the data it collects? Mm. You, you, to you told that, that it's connected to your uh, phone. Yeah. So it's, there is, should be some kind of application on your smartphone sure. or iPhone or whatever. Our ecosystem includes a uh, variable patch, mobile app, and uh, secure cloud storage with artificial intelligence, which uh, processes the data. So uh, the patch sends data via Bluetooth to your mobile phone, and uh, here, there it does basic calculations of those data. Uh, mobile app shows, shows many parameters, uh, both heart rate, uh, it shows uh, real-time electrocardiogram and other things like uh, we have blood pressure estimation, we have uh, 
cardio stress level, tension relaxation level, so many parameters to, to, to track your health, basically. Mm -hmm. And those data are also trans transmitted from the phone to the cloud service, where we have uh, artificial intelligence, ne neural networks trained on actual electrocardiograms to spot abnormalities mm -hmm. and to highlight them. And what happens then? What is uh, the then, uh, should some abnormality be detected, uh, the system, the artificial intelligence, sends uh, an alert to the user and to the observers. Uh, who, the, who are the observers? What do you mean? Uh, we call observers uh, the contacts which uh, user indicates designates as, uh, as, as trusted as ones, basically. And it's family, relatives and uh, medical practitioners. Okay. Uh, and... Uh, For example, what is the message that could be sent? Uh, With a diagnosis or is it the, some warning message that, okay, um, your, I don't know, your daughter is feeling bad? Mm -hmm. uh, le legally speaking, uh, we have to have a medical device certification to, to state any diagnosis. So, uh, right now, we only have recommendations as pay a visit to a doctor. Mm -hmm. it, it goes like this. But in the future, yes, it mm -hmm. would be like you should... This is only one message or there are different phrases? No, no, no there mm -hmm. are different types of messages. Uh, it's not only... Just without diagnosis. It's, it's not only alerts. We have also basic tips like, uh, for example, in the... In the cardioma device, there are uh, medical grade biosensors and also accelerometer gyroscope. It tracks uh, the motion, the activity of a, of a person. So if somebody is, is, uh, is not very active uh, for, for a while... It says do some push-ups. <laughs> like this, like, please, you are a bit too lazy right now. No, I'm, ju I'm just, ki just kidding. <laughs> no, but okay, but could this uh, device produce some, some, some broader analysis, I don't know, maybe some um, life statistics or some diagrams? Yes, uh, in, the, in the app uh, and in the professional dashboard for doctors, there are many charts, uh, data to, to have analysis. Uh, Cardiomo has a lot of potential to, to be a complete uh, health monitoring device, basically. Not, not only just heart monitoring device. Well, oh, as, as I mentioned, uh, that we have a blood pressure estimation in, in our uh, algorithms basing on the electrocardiogram, so no, no, no tonometer. Mm -hmm. Well, which is nice. And w but what is the reaction then from the international medical experts? Uh, what about international scale? Yeah. Uh, basically, you, uh, cardiologists are the same in Ukraine and all over the world. They all liked our professional dashboard. They also liked this 24-7 feature of electrocardiogram recording. But is it recognized as medical device or as some advisory device to take care of your health? Uh, right Would they recognize this data uh, to be very accurate so they can, I don't know, provide person with some yeah. prescriptions? Right now, Cardiomo is a consumer device because to be a medical device, to be advised by doctors or by insurance companies, you need to have a medical certification. In the United States, uh, it is FDA, Food and Drugs Administration, uh, clearance. In the Europe, it's called CE Mark. You need to have it to, mm -hmm. to be able to say we are a medical device and we have some kind of diagnosis. Yeah, this is a complicated and, process. Uh, yes, it takes uh, time and money and you have to have a serious product mm -hmm. because uh, we, we right now uh, have uh, delivered, we have sold out 250 better devices so we are uh, over the world, mm -hmm. so we are doing tests. Uh, so this is a testing mode right now? So but yes, Europe. but, but it's pre I would say it's pre-production test. Mm -hmm. But later on, I mean, after this testing mode, when you have more data uh, to, um, to prove the institutions, you could, you could actually get these permissions? It's, uh, it's being done si simultaneously. Mm -hmm. okay. We are currently having the tests, getting ready for uh, series production in May to, uh, this year, and uh, when we have series product, we are applying for the FDA certification. Okay, so the production starts at, in May, and until yes. May you have this test mode. Yes.
Okay, well, great. It's, this was very interesting and thank you so much for this conversation and we're wishing you luck with, uh, with your uh, innovative ideas. Thanks. That was Andrei Morozovsky, Chief Marketing Officer of Cardiomo Care. Thank you for watching Head to Head. I'm Alas Gerdjuk. Goodbye.